happy to be Linda! Hey, cookie clickers. Welcome back to another fantabulous episode of Ask Firefox. And this week, I'm not going to teach you a thing until you accept our cookie policy. Go on, do it. It's good for you. Psych! First question, why do some websites require me to always accept some kind of cookies? Are all cookies bad? Internet cookies are one of the many ways that websites can help make your experience more personal. They do this by storing files locally on your computer and requesting them when you visit the website. Cookies are helpful for a plethora of reasons, like remembering which items you left in your shopping cart when you discovered Cruits, or keeping you from having to re-enter your password every time you open up YouTube. Without cookies, aside from performance issues, the internet would feel more like the movie Groundhog Day. But without Bill Murray, Every time you load up a website, it would be like you're there for the first time, and Bill Murray isn't there, which I think makes the whole experience much worse. So cookies are meant to be good? That leads us to our next topic. What's wrong with just accepting all cookies? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, honey chow. To properly answer that, let's talk about types of cookies. First party cookies? Those are the kind we just went over. Then there are third party cookies, and this is where the cookie starts to crumble. Third party cookies are, actually, let me set the right mood. Third-party cookies function the same as first-party cookies, tracking your data between visits. But these cookies don't remind you to buy crudes. <laughs> these cookies are used to track what you're looking at on websites, and they use that data to create targeted advertisements that follow you from site to site. They may not seem spooky without the scary voice, but there is no limit to the number of third-party cookies a website can generate. The limit does not exist! Bad cookies will create a unique ID for you as you browse, and as you collect this endless supply of cookies, a profile of sorts is created about you and stored on a remote server. Since all these bad cookies are being stored in the same cookie jar, any information stored through third-party cookies can be attached to that unique ID, creating a gold mine of information to be sold and used to advertise to you. Now that we know what we're up against, our next question. Can I stop third-party cookies from tracking me, or have the cookies already won? Good question. Lucky for you, I've got this nifty difty little tape that should give us a few tips. Roll the tape. Hello, I'm Cookie Smasherson, and welcome to How to Smash Cookies with Cookie Smasherson. <laughs> You'll learn three basic defenses that anyone can use against third party cookies. Deny, delete, and disguise. Yeah! You're browsing the internet using your high speed data connection. Your page loads up and you're accosted with pop up after pop up asking you to accept the cookie policy. Deny those cookies! You gotta delete those cookies! Get them out of here! Leave my data alone, you no good for nothing advertisers! But how can you defend yourself against the cookies of internet's future? Disguise! There are extensions that can help you contain third party cookies and keep them from tracking you between clicks. With these three techniques, you can browse the internet safely, knowing your PC and identity are a little safer than what they were yesterday. I'm Cookie Smasherson. Deny, delete, and disguise. Anyway, while those three methods are some of the easier ways you can prevent cookies from tracking you, there are other ways you can keep yourself protected, like using private browsing windows or using a browser that has moved away from traditional cookies altogether. Maybe you heard Google is planning on phasing out cookies from Chrome. That's fantastic, but if you want cookie defense now, Firefox is a browser that already does that. You go, Firefox. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two about cookies. Is it just me or does anyone else have a weird hankering for cookies right about now? Hey, before you leave, tell us a scary story about a time that you were tracked by cookies in the comments. Or find us on Twitter and Instagram, at Firefox.